Okay, so here we are. We are in the uh, Santander uh, warehouse where coffee is coming in from the producers of Fondo Paez. And we're here with Don Miguel, who is a friend, uh, as well as a head of one of the groups here, and is on the, um, he, he's here working at the Acopio. He's on the board of directors, and he's going to show us the basic steps that they go through to control quality. So coffee comes in as pergamino. Pergamino is coffee uh, that has been dried, but it hasn't had the outer husk taken off. Um, and what they do here is they have to weigh the coffee that comes in from the farmers, and then they want to check it for a number of things to assess its quality, which is ultimately, which is very good for uh, for us because we get to roast better coffee. And so what Don Miguel has is 250 grams. It's 250 gramos esta taza, verdad, de pergamino. ¿Cuánto es eso? Esto son como 125 gramos. Okay, sorry. That's um, 125 grams of pergamino. That he's going to put in a moisture uh, tester, and what they're aiming for is 12 percent or less. Está bien. Mm -hmm. Va a probar la humedad ahora, verdad? Sí. Okay. 250 ya son para trillar. Okay, gotcha. Bueno. So what Don Miguel said is 250 grams is what they'll use to dehusk and then check for defects. So he's stirring around uh, the pergamino to see what registration we get for the humidity, and this is a very con this is a groin moisture test here. So that's 11.3 percent. 11.3. Está bien. Está bien. Es excelente. Yeah, that's really that's what you want. What he's going to do is he's going to record it on a uh, on a log that they have, where they have um, the date, and it's the name of the res of um, the person who's delivering the coffee, and then they will have the type of coffee delivered. It could be conventional or organic. Mm -hmm. The total delivery, the humidity okay. percentage, then uh, they're going to say, they're going to measure uh, a couple of other things that we'll talk about as we go through the process. So right now, Don Miguel is putting together, he's going to weigh out 250 grams of pergamino. And then what he's going to do is he's going to put it in a machine that takes out, uh, that takes off the outer husk and converts the pergamino to what's called oro which is the green coffee uh, that we put in our roasters uh, and roast so that people can then uh, grind it and brew it and drink it. So here we are. 250 grams. Perfecto. Okay. So here we go. And this is called triar, triar, which is to be hot. Okay, so in the husk, not perfectly, but enough that they can actually see the real beans and see the quality. Now, Don Miguel is going to put it into a screen, 14 gauge, and he's going to shake it out. And when he shakes it out, there will be undersized beans that will fall through the holes. Those are sorted out. And now, está quitando ahora el, el papel, ¿verdad? El, el, el casco. So now he's just taking out kind of the residual uh, casco, the shell, so uh, it doesn't figure into any of this uh, sorting process. And now he's sorting through. And what he's looking for is he's looking for diseased beans 
beans that were uh, infected by broca, which is a little boring uh, insect that goes in and loves the sugar around the, the coffee bean and the cherry, and he's going to pull out defects. So they're looking for undersized, which they screen out, broca, which is disease, and then any other defect coffee. And he's going to gather it in, uh, in his hand, and then what he's going to do is he's going to weigh it. And tenemos defectos aquí que puedes explicar qué son. Okay, so estos son los pequeños, ¿verdad? Right? So those are the undersized. Y hay una con broca en... So he's blowing out the parchment. Aquí tenemos, aquí se clasifican por granos negros. Okay, these are black beans. Sí. Estos llevarían una clasificación diferente. Son una, un sí. defecto, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, estas son ya pasillas por, por defectos de la, de, la, de la máquina, de la esculpadora. Ok, voy a traducir. So, the second beans he just pulled out were, were beans that fell through, or fragments that fell through, that in the depulping process they got damaged. Y estos son pasillas, pero por granos menudos. Ok, and these are small ones that fell through, but they just fell through because they were small, not because they were broken in the, in the process. Entonces ahorita vamos y a, a pesar y vamos a mirar cuánto tiene. Okay, sí. y, y hay broca en este grupo? No, no, no. There is no broca in this group, which is a good thing. Now he's going to weigh it, and their goal is to have 8 grams or less of defects per 250 grams. They'll accept up to 12 grams of defects, but they really try to go 8 or below. And they, they seem to be uh, having pretty good luck today. So we're going to have just a little bit more than three grams of, of defects, which is a good, a good sample. And these are samples that are taken out from all the bags that were delivered today, probably 12 bags or so, samples mixed and pulled together uh, so that there's a good uniform sampling out of the, all the coffee delivered. Casi tres y media, ¿verdad? 3.4. Y esto es buenísimo. Buenísimo. This is very good quality for the first uh, screening process. This is just the first pass. Eso es todo. Esto es todo. Gracias, don Miguel. Bueno. Excelente, ya. Yeah. Perfecto.